Hi guys. Welcome to Luca Tech T. In this video we will talk about top 5 expensive fail science experiments. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's start. Number 5. Winthrop Kellogg's Ape Experiment. In the early 1930s, comparative psychologist Winthrop Kellogg and his wife welcomed a healthy baby boy they named Donald. The psychologist had grown interested in those stories of children who were raised feral, but he didn't send Donald to be raised by wolves. He did the opposite. He managed to get his hands on a similar-aged baby chimp named Gua and raised her alongside Donald. Gua initially did better than Donald in tests that included things like memory, scribbling, strength, dexterity, reflexes, problem-solving, climbing, language comprehension, and more. But she eventually plateaued, and it became evident that no amount of equal treatment was going to make her behave more like a human. But when the Kelloggs ended the experiment, they did so abruptly and without much explanation, which is contrary to the meticulous records they otherwise took throughout the course of the study. While Gua wasn't showing any signs of picking up English, Donald had started to imitate the vocalizations of his sister from another species, so it's not hard to speculate why the Kelloggs called it quits. Number 4. The Stanford Prison Experiment You may have heard about the Stanford Prison Experiment, a social psychology study gone awry in 1971. The point of the experiment, which was funded by the U.S. Office of Naval Research, was to measure the effect of role-playing and social expectations. Lead researcher Philip Zimbardo had predicted that situations and circumstances dictate how a person acts, not their personalities. To start, 24 young men were assigned the roles of prison guard or prison inmate, with some held back as alternates. Each was paid $15 per day for his participation in the study, which was supposed to last two weeks. The prisoners were arrested, taken to a fake prison in the basement of a school building, then made to wear a dress-like prison uniform with chains around their right ankle. By the second day, the faux prisoners had revolted. Over the next few days, some of the prisoners were so traumatized that they were pulled out. The experiment was disbanded on day six, after an outside observer witnessed the upsetting events taking place and sounded the alarm. Many modern-day researchers don't believe the experiment can be replicated because it doesn't meet today's research ethics standards, namely, informed consent. After all, it's hard to give fully informed consent when there's no way to predict how events could unfold. Beyond that, some psychologists doubt the core findings of the experiment and claim that the cruelty didn't emerge organically, but was instead influenced by Zimbardo nudging the experiment in that direction. Zimbardo, however, has defended his results and stated that these criticisms are misrepresenting his study and the experiences of the people in it. Number 3. Franz Reichelt's Aviator Suit If there's anything to be said for Franz Reichelt, it's that he had supreme confidence in his own invention. In the early 1900s, Reichelt crafted a parachute from 320 square feet of fabric, all of which folded up into a wearable aviator suit. He had conducted several parachute tests using dummies, which all failed. He pinned the blame on the buildings, saying that they simply weren't tall enough. In 1912, Reichelt planned to test his latest version by flinging a dummy from the Eiffel Tower. But when he arrived at the famous landmark, the inventor surprised the waiting crowd by strapping on the parachute suit himself and taking the leap. The parachute didn't open, however, and Reichelt became a victim of his own invention. Number 2. McDonald's Bubblegum-Flavored Broccoli. In 2014, McDonald's concluded that they needed to offer more nutritious options for children, which led one mad scientist in Ronald's test kitchen to come up with bubblegum-flavored broccoli. Luckily for all of us, this horrifying experiment never made it to a happy meal near you. Number 1. William Perkins' Mauve Loose Mistake. In 1856, chemist William Perkin was experimenting with ways to manufacture a synthetic version of quinine, a tonic water ingredient that also happens to treat malaria. At the time, dyes were only made from things like plant material and insects, but when Perkin was mixing up his latest quinine concoction, he accidentally produced an oily sludge that left a lovely shade of light purple residue. He had unwittingly discovered a way to produce mauve. The color was a smash hit, especially after Queen Victoria donned it for her daughter's 1858 wedding. So what do you think about video? Let me know in the comment section below, or if you want to hear me again, be sure to subscribe our channel for future updates.